Hello, saints of God. This is Nikki Pratt, the watchman on the wall, bringing to you today. I'm promoting Worldwide Vision Day. Worldwide Vision Day. This is this message is for all of the fivefold ministry, all the saints of God, all in the body of Christ of the Shreveport, Bossier, Louisiana area. Please hear me. There is a mandate call on the body of Christ, calling all believers, all saints of God around the globe. But this message today is for my fellow citizens, ministers of the gospel of Shreveport and Bossier area. When is World Vision Day? World Vision Day is coming up January 6, 2018 at 12 noon. Where is this taking place? Every street corner all over the globe. Every street corner all over the globe. Where from Australia all the way to Zimbabwe, so to speak. Every country, every state, every city all over the world. What is World Vision Day? This is the day when all believers, all true believers, of Jesus Christ go out of their comfort zone in the highways and the hedges preaching the gospel of repentance and the return of Christ on one accord, one day, for one hour, one vision, in one place. All saints of God all over the globe, all believers a preacher. I'm going to say this again. All believers a preacher. Yes, that means women, men, children, Old men, young men, pastors, evangelists, prophets, bishops, ministers, etc. All saints of God, okay? Here's the scripture for that. Joel 2.28, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. Okay? Matthew 24, 14 says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in the world and all, until all for a witness unto all nations, and then the end shall come. What to bring? Bible tracts, a Bible of uh, poster board saying things like Jesus loves you uh, for the kingdom of God is at hand, warning, repentance, are you saved, poster boards like that, make them big, make them flashy to get the attention, okay, um, you need a, you might can get a megaphone, uh, 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 let's see, uh, microphones, uh, sometimes I use on the streets, uh, Karaoke machines, uh, whatever you can use to be out there on the street corners, please do so. What to do? Street preaching, guidance one. The first thing you want to do when you first go out, the Lord wants us to quote John 3 and 16 before you ever get started. If you've never preached, that is not going to mean anything. For you that is, you think, oh, I'm I'm just a sinner saved by grace. I go to church every Sunday. That you in church every Sunday, the Lord wants you to come out of that comfort zone. Get on the street. If if, if don't be afraid because He said He's going to pour out His Spirit when you open your mouth. Believe me, He will fill it. You can get your Bible, and you can read uh, Matthew 24, Luke 21, Mark 13. You could you could do one of that, but quote John three sixteen first. What is John three sixteen? For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believe in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. What are we to say? Come to Jesus now. I'm gonna say it again. For the kingdom of the Lord is at hand in the wilderness. The children, the saints of God is in the wilderness, and we're crying out for souls. That's what we're doing. Why? Because 2018, just like 2017, was very eventful. Sadly, a lot of people lost their lives. There was a, a lot of calamities, a lot of floods, 
a lot of um, uh, active shooter type situations. 2018, it is sad to say, is going to be much worse. There are going to be a lot of people perishing. And the Lord want us out in the streets. Come out of the churches on that Saturday. Get out in the streets. Gather, gather, gather the people. Gather the people all together. Trying to get as many saved as you can. It shall remind you of uh, Noah's day. It shall remind you of when Lot and the angels went in. And we know that when that went on, what happened? Judgment came. Judgment is getting ready to come for a lot of people is going to lose their lives. It's sad to say, but it is true. That's why we have to make sure that we, as the light of the world, salt of the earth, is out in the street corners doing what the Lord wants us to do. Get as many people, say, pray with them. Okay, what are we to dictate? The sinner's prayer. What are we to do with them? Dictate the uh, the sinner's prayer to them. Whoever responds, Jesus Christ, I'm a sinner. I ask for forgiveness of all my sins. I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth that uh, Jesus died on the cross for my sins and he rose from the dead so that I may live with him in eternity. Be creative, but make sure you say these things. I make a decision today to follow you today. Lord, I don't want to perish in what's coming. Save me today. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Pray a short prayer for them. Invite them to your church. You having problems with low church attendance? This is how to do it. This is the, the recipe right here. The Lord left the recipe of how to fill your churches. Get out in the streets. This is for one day, January 6, 2016, for one hour, starting at 12 noon, for one complete hour. If you feel led in your spirit, because we always, this has been going on, uh, mind you, since 2014, July uh, 5th uh, was the, uh, July 4th, 2014, I think was the, the first one, but this is done quarterly, every three months. Um, Again, this is going to be January 6, 2016, where any street corner you can get where you think somebody will listen. If you, uh, if you can go into a busy, uh, active place, uh, don't go to jail, um, but do so. Isaiah 66, 8, who hath heard such a thing? Who hath seen such things? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth her children. One hour, 12 noon, Matthew 24, 26, 40. And he cometh unto the disciples and founded them sleep and said unto Peter, What could ye not watch with me for what? One hour. One hour, people. One hour. One voice. Mark 13, 3, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make his path straight. One accord, Acts 2 and 1, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. One place, Luke 14, 23, and the Lord said unto the servant, go out into the highways and hedges and compel compel them to come in that my house may be filled go out and compel listen um i'm hoping i have been already in some of some of the churches around here in shreveport um if you want to know more about it um if you invite me to your church i'll be happy to come to tell you uh, some of the testimonies and some of the things that take place on World Vision Day to go in more depth. But more importantly, um, if you want to do that, email me at Jesus Wants You, that's the letter U, 72 at gmail.com. Jesus Wants You, 72 at gmail.com. For more information, um, Harvest Army National. Uh, church in uh, the Bronx, New York, 
They birthed this into existence back in 2014. Um, a lot of people have stood in the gap. The Lord asks, would there be any to stand in the gap for your country? Let me tell you, the spirit of the Lord is going to be poured out that day. Gifts, if you never prophesied in your life, with this, if you obey, with this comes gifts. Not that we do it just to get a gift, but the promises of God are yea and amen. You will be given, there will be spiritual gifts given out. Prophecy as as of one. You want more information on this, um, to know more about it. Once you be out there in the street corners and you're holding up your signs and you're praying, um, you're leading people to Christ, Load that up on YouTube, record it, load it up on YouTube. This is what I want you to do. Let, I'm the ambassador for Louisiana for World Vision Day. I need you to give God glory and put it up on YouTube some kind of way uh, for representing Shreveport. Help me. Help me represent Shreveport, Louisiana for World Vision Day because it's just my daughter and I, uh, my little girl, 14 years old. It's just me and her. Uh, we've been representing Louisiana for uh, World Vision Day. We need help. We need your help. So go on YouTube, upload your video to um, Harvest Army's uh, website, uh, www harvestarmy.org, or you can email them at info, let's see, let's see, let's see, I'll tell you here in just a second. When you upload, when you record the video and upload it, you can email them at, I'll pull it up here in just a second, oh, there it is right there, info at harvestarmy.org info at harvestarmy.org somehow some way let them know that you guys are helping me uh for world vision day you're helping uh nikki platt pratt i'm sorry nikki platt nikki pratt uh for for world vision day we doing this for the lord okay but um I, I need I need more help. We need the body. We are all one body. We're in this all together. It's not a one man thing. It's not a two man thing. It's not a three man thing. But it's a world thing. This is for World Vision Day. This is for the Lord God Almighty. But just somehow, some way, let me know uh, that you you heard this mandate. You heard this call, and that you're helping represent. Louisiana and putting us on the map. Uh, if you go to YouTube right now, uh, go to Harvest Army's channel. Um, just type in Harvest Army um, channel on YouTube, and uh, you could go to World. Or type in World Vision Day, um, and you will see different. You will see different countries um, like uh, uh, Madagascar. Um, you may see uh, Florida, uh, all countries, all England. I mean, there. This church has been everywhere. There are a lot of other saints of God that has been everywhere. This has been going on for three months. I've been trying to get in churches to let people know about it as much as I could. Um, but um, go on there, and you could see uh, some little videos, clips of. I'll attach a video. That's what I'll do. I'll attach a video to this so you guys can look at it and see what World Vision Day is all about. I'll group one of Harvest Summit's videos and you'll see um, a lot of um, the people. You'll see me on their street preaching. They group like different, like Atlanta, Louisiana, Florida, um, New York. I mean, you'll see different states like that. So again, if you have any questions, Please reach out to me. Jesus wants you. That's the letter U72 at gmail.com. Thanks.